But when you visit the doctor, they listen to you, they examine you, they even do some blood tests. And when the results come back normal, they say, everything's fine. And during your conversations, your doctor hasn't mentioned perimenopause once. Have you started noticing weird symptoms in your late 30s or early 40s? Things like brain fog, those extra pounds now becoming a lot more difficult to shift or just feeling extremely tired for no reason. But when you visit the doctor, they listen to you, they examine you, they even do some blood tests. And when the results come back normal, they say, everything's fine and during your conversations your doctor hasn't mentioned perimenopause once if you've ever had this experience you're not alone there's a lot about this phase of women's lives that often goes unspoken in the doctor's office perimenopause is that important phase of a woman's life when you transition to menopause and the end of childbearing years in some women, it can start in the mid-30s and continue for up to 10 years. Usually, we can't say when it begins, but it ends when you have not seen a menstrual period for 12 consecutive months. Your doctor might not bring up perimenopause in the conversation early enough or at all for several reasons. First, perimenopause can begin when you're still relatively young and still ovulating. And so doctors don't quickly associate the symptoms that you have with perimenopause changes because it's still generally considered a problem for older women. Or the other thing might be your doctor is so focused on treating your specific symptoms that the root cause of hormone change is not addressed. Another reason is what I call the variability in symptom from one woman to another. This is because 10 different women can present with 10 different symptoms and all have perimenopause. Coupled with the fact that when you run the hormone tests, the levels are still within the normal range in perimenopause. So it can be challenging to explain that these symptoms are as a result of perimenopause. So after carrying out your tests and the normal results come through, here are some things that your doctor may not explain. The changes of perimenopause, they don't just affect your physical health. They can impact your mood, anxiety levels, and even mental clarity. And yet we rarely have that conversation about how falling estrogen levels may affect brain function. Apart from mental function, there are other important conversations to be held around the impact of falling estrogen levels in the body. Did you know that estrogen plays a critical role in your bone and heart health? During the perimenopause, your risk of heart disease and osteoporosis, which is thinning bones, can increase quite significantly. But for many women, this often goes unmentioned until we get right into menopause. The next thing is you might end up with not very helpful advice. For example, your tests are normal, just deal with it. It will go away after some time. Or you might be offered some medication or treatment without a discussion about lifestyle changes, which are really important in perimenopause and menopause. Or alternative treatments like talking therapy, counseling, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and so on. There might not even be an opportunity to talk about personalized hormone treatments at that point. So rather than being told that there's nothing to be done or offering medication that might not make a difference, there are few things that you can and should do. Don't be shy to bring up the issue or possibility of perimenopause with your doctor. This is important, especially after you've had a thorough examination and blood tests and they've all come back normal. You can ask directly if your symptoms could be related to perimenopause. You can push for more tests or assessments depending on what your symptoms are. Next, start keeping track of your symptoms, when they happen, how they happen, no matter how small. This gives you the important information you need to have a clear conversation with your doctor. Please look at lifestyle adjustments like diet, exercise, managing stress in your life, and please don't hesitate to consider hormone therapy or alternative treatments if your symptoms are severe. Find the right support. 
If your doctor isn't helpful, find one who's a menopause specialist or specializes in women's health concerns. Because we all deserve tailored care to our needs. Perimenopause shouldn't be a mystery and you don't have to wait for your doctor to bring it up. By being proactive and informed, you can confidently take charge of this aspect of your health and the transition. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Let's have a conversation about what your doctor hasn't told you. And don't forget, you can check out my playlist here for more information about menopause related issues and solutions.